uh, muscles of the shoulder, the beginning muscle, the first one on the list is the deltoid muscle. This large deltoid muscle is your shoulder. This is the one that inserts on the deltoid tuberosity of the humerus. Called the deltoid muscle because it is triangular. Delta is, the, uh, is a Greek letter that's shaped like a triangle. Here we have supraspinatus, a muscle line in the supraspinous fossa. Here's the spine of the scapula. If I cover these two muscles, we have infraspinatus, a muscle line in the infraspinous fossa. <clears throat> if I look on the anterior side of the shoulder, and I cover that, we have a muscle, large muscle line in the subscapular fossa, and that muscle is called subscapularis. We have two muscles remaining. We have this muscle and this muscle. Those are both teres muscles. Teres muscles um, mean that when they are cut on their belly, like right there, they appear round. And the bisected muscle appears round. <coughs> One is a, a, a major, this is teres major, and this is teres minor. Teres minor is superior to teres major. Here is coracobrachialis. This is the coracobrachialis muscle. Next we have biceps brachii, two heads on the muscle and it is by the brachium, so a reasonable name, biceps brachii. Deep to that we have the brachialis muscle. If I remove this you're able to see brachialis, quite a large muscle, be able to recognize it both ways. Here is the brachialis muscle. Posterior on the arm, this would be the elbow right here, we have the triceps brachii. One, two, three heads on the triceps. Triceps brachii. Next we'll go to the supinator. In order to find the supinator, I'm going to remove this and this. So deep to superficial muscles, we find the sup supinator right here. The supinator is uh, an antagonistic muscle to the pronator teres. Here's the pronator. Here's the supinator. Here is the brachioradialis. Brachioradialis. Um, you remember the radius is on the thumb side. Here's the thumb side. This muscle extends from the thumb side to the brachium, brachioradialis. Next, if I turn uh, the arm this way, notice that this is the wrist, carpus. The next muscle is called flexor carpi ulnaris. Here's the wrist. We're going to get a muscle that flexes, flexor carpi ulnaris. Flexor carpi ulnaris. Over here we have flexor carpi radialis. Flexor carpi radialis. Now we have a couple of extensors. A couple of extensors. We'll look on the side that would have the effect of drawing the hand like this or the wrist like this. So <clears throat> let me point out brachioradialis. Here's brachioradialis. Next to that we find extensor carpi radia radialis longus and extensor carpi radialis brevis. These are both extensor carpi radialis. They're both going to extend the wrist on the thumb side. One's big, one's small. Longus and brevis. Then we have a couple of retinacula. Here we have the flexor retinaculum and that's a connective tissue band. On this side, we have the extensor retinaculum. Here we see the po aponus pollicis muscle. Aponus pollicis.